Good day, mathematicians. Welcome to Rockin' Ratios, video number five. Throughout the unit, you have been making connections using ratios, percent, fractions, and decimals to represent any given number. Today, you are going to learn how to express a given percent as a fraction, a decimal, and a ratio, part to whole. In this video, you will learn that there is a connection between percent, fraction, decimal, and ratio, part to whole. Secondly, you will learn that you can visually represent percent, fraction, decimal, and ratio, part to whole, using a hundredth grid. Percent is a fraction, and it is also a part to whole ratio that compares a number to a whole which is divided into 100 equal parts. Here in the 100th grid, I will shade in now 75%, which would be 7, 10 here, another 10, another 10 is 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 5 percent. As you can see here, Decimals are parts that are smaller than one whole. When we think of a percentage out of a hundred, we can write the decimal as a hundredth. If a whole was divided into a hundred equal parts. So in our grid, we will notice that there is a hundred little squares, and each of those squares represents a hundredth. Since there are 75 out of the hundred colored in, we do, again, color in, one tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, six tenths, seven tenths, which gives us our seventy hundredth, and then we color in five more tenths to give us seventy five. And we call this seventy five hundredth. Now we will look at 75% or 75 hundredth as a fraction. A fraction is also a part of a set or part of a whole. So in this case we will look at it in part of a whole. If we take our grid and divide it into four equal parts, you will notice that we have 25, another 25, and another 25 here, giving us 75 out of the total of 100. This can also be written then, as we just decided, as 1, 2, 3, out of our 4, which makes it 3 quarters, but also 75 over 100. And as you learn throughout this unit, a ratio can be expressed as a part of a whole. Again, we are looking at part of a whole. In this case, we would have, again, 75, 5, 60, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so 75 are colored out of the 100 total, which would be 75 out of our 100 total in our 100th grid. Now we are going to look at a real-life situation. The following shows the, the favorite physical education activities. You will notice that basketball has 20%. Soccer, 15%, hockey, 20%, volleyball, 30%, gymnastics, 5%, and dancing, 10%. We will then show all of these percentages on a hundredth grid. We will do that towards the end of this lesson. Now we will look at specifically each of those activities and how we will represent them visually to show our percentage, fraction, ratio, and decimal. 
So in this case, we know that we have 20%. 20% we learned is the same as 20 out of 100. So 20 out of 100 would be two groups of 20 colored in. So that gives us our 20 out of 100, which can also be written 20 to 100. We can also then show that this can be written as a fraction, since there were 20 colored in out of our 100 total. And because each of these rods are referred to as a tenth, we can now say that we have 20 tenths, or sorry, we can now say we have 20 hundredth, which is the same as two tenths, which would be written as 20 hundredth. We can show the same thing with our 15%. We would color in 15 blocks, or 15 of our squares. And out of those 15, we know that we have 15 out of 100, which can be written as a ratio of 15 to 100. Because it is out of 100, we know that we can say there is 15 over 100 as a fraction. And again, because we are stating this in a decimal form, we know that we have 15 hundredth or 0 decimal 1. In our next example, we have 20% light hockey. So again, as we showed earlier, we would have our 20 colored in, which again, we refer back to would be 20 over 100 as our fraction, 0 decimal 0 as our decimal, and a 20 to 100 ratio. Again, saying 20 hundredth. When we move down to our 30%, we can look at this and say it's very close to the 20 again, except this time we have three rods colored in, which is the same as 30 so that would be 30 out of 100, meaning 30 over 100. A ratio of 30 to 100. And 0 decimal 3, 0, meaning 30 hundredths. Finally, in our last two categories, we have 5% late gymnastics, so that would mean we would have 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 colored in, which only means we had 5 out of 100, which would be 5 to 100, or 5 over 100 meaning 5 hundredth, and we would write it 0 decimal 0, 5, because there's not a full rod covered, colored, so therefore we only have our units, which is in the hundredth place here. Finally, our last one, we have 10 colored this time, so meaning 10 out of 100, which would be 10 to 100, or 10 over 100 as our fraction, 
and our decimal would be 0, decimal 1, 0, meaning 10 hundredth. So if we replace all of those again on our grid, you will notice that basketball would have 20, soccer would have 15, gymnastics would have 5, hockey would have 20, Volleyball, 30. And then finally, our last court category of dance being 10%. So as you can see, you have just learned how percentage can be expressed as fractions and decimals and also ratios from part to whole. Also, a hundredths grid is a great visual representation tool to show percentage, fraction, and decimals. Finally, here is your task for this evening. It is now your turn to visually represent the following percentages as fractions and decimals. A, 40%, B, 35%, and C, what percent as a fraction and a decimal is not shaded? Remember to use a hundreds grid and we will discuss your results in class tomorrow. Rockin' Ratios out.